I never really expected to be a waste reduction specialist or teaching people about this sort of stuff. I had no idea that this is what I was interested in. But it's one of those things where when you kind of just get a little bit of a glance at it and get a little bit of an understanding of it, it totally sucks you in. In the average American household, it's about 25% of what gets thrown away is food waste. People are getting interested in where their foods come from, where their products come from, but we still really haven't gotten to the point of where does all this stuff go to and how is that managed and what does that do for our environment. Instead of just saying, I'm going to chuck this in the garbage, you start saying, wait a minute, I could put this somewhere else and make it into compost. process of growing things, transporting them, displaying them for sale, getting them home, preparing them, leaving them in the fridge after you've made them, about half of what was grown in the field never actually gets eaten. Compost, when you're adding it to your soil, it's like a healthy diet. It's not only giving you short-term energy, but you're actually building things in your soil that provide long-term energy as well as water absorption, erosion control, and you're basically feeding your plants on a slow, routine, healthy diet. Anytime that you're not just going to throw everything in the garbage, you're slowing down a little bit and you're saying, wait a minute, what can I do with this stuff? From a worm bin, I think you'll learn a lot about just what you throw away. You'll be surprised, wow, I didn't realize I threw away this much food. Um, and I think you'll get psyched that knowing that you're making it into something better and you're actually making it right here in your backyard or right here in your house. Compost and worm compost are probably some of the best things that you could possibly put into your soil. They are extremely rich in nutrients. Uh, they have microorganisms, organisms that are so small you can't see them with the naked eye. When you put them into the soil, they actually take nutrients that are there and make them more accessible for plants to absorb. So when you're putting this stuff in the soil, instead of just giving a soil fertilizer that's going to just make things grow really quickly, you're actually, in the long run, improving the fertility of your soil. It's an ecosystem. It's all these different things that are happening and organisms are taking advantage of foods and laying offspring and leaving their waste behind. And those wastes are actually very useful. Compost is able to absorb water and release it slowly. So that helps plants survive drought and it also helps plants when there's a lot of rain, it helps reduce erosion. If you provide that nice, consistent food source with composting, you're going to get rich, dark, healthy, nutrient-rich fruits from your plants. <laughs>